as I said, first and foremost, let's really thank the president because I think what he has done, uh, when you look at this, uh, these grounds and you remember what they were, I think first of all, let us appreciate the history that has been spelled out in these grounds today. For many years, we have celebrated um, our independence elsewhere, but for the first time, we are celebrating our independence where it really ought to be, at uh, Uhuru Gardens. And therefore, is to congratulate him, congratulate the armed forces for what they have done here, mm. and also to tell Kenyans to remember, you know, that our history is deep and not light. Mm. And I also want to say to thank him for what he pronounced as far as uh, health is concerned, and the, and the many songs that have been sung and speeches and prayers that have been made regarding the health of Kenyans. And to tell Kenyans, let us observe the measures that we have said. Let us remember that from the 21st of December, there are certain stipulations, certain mitigating factors that we must take. And to tell them, we are happy to be celebrating, but we will be happier when we know that we are safe from COVID and other diseases. Uh, kindly, let the cut out of the bag. From the 21st of December, there are other mitigating measures you're going to take? Well, we did say yeah. from the 21st of December, you'll not be able to take a train without a vaccine, without being vaccinated. Right. You'll not be able to fly out of Kenya without being vaccinated. So there are many things that you'll not be able to do without being vaccinated from the 21st. Yeah. And let's not wait until the last minute and then say to Naskumwa, Mara, policeman attacker Nini, Ministry of Health is not being fair, you have time. Get vaccinated. All right. Before I let you go, Waziri, reimagining the future. I can't let you go without that. Uh, you know, it is like we are treating our future abnormally. Well, as I have often said, yes. we must not treat this disease normally. Yes. It will treat us abnormally. Yes. But if we treat it normally, the future is bleak. Yeah. If we treat it with a passion, that we now have, yeah. I think that we still have a very bright future. Right. And I've got confidence in Kenyans. Speaking to Waziri Mutahi Kagwe, you know, as regards the future, particularly in light of the COVID-19 infections in the country. And now joined by the Secretary General of the...